Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hexit. As always, I'm your Owen. I've got some news to show you and to talk to you about. First off, our Chocobo, Ch Chickabo, has grown into a blue Chocobo. And thanks to my buddy Hastwis, he's given it a name, Burubado. Which, I guess means blue? Bluebird? In something? I may have the spelling wrong. I'll have to double check if that is the case I will change it. Changing it is just an easy switch of the uh, um think Chris think uh, with the Chickapedia. I also learned that that alien I came across is it's just something that has to do with these meteorites. It has nothing to do with attacking the meteorite and that there's actually something special if I can get the meteorite to drop it. I just want to make sure I'm far enough away. Yeah. If I'm lucky, I will get a meteorite chunk. Ooh, there's a chest in this meteor. Ooh, there's one. Now I can use this for armor. I can use it for weapons. All the variety of stuff. Oh, I broke a piece of glowstone. Get in there. Uh, shovel. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to continue to mine this out. Obviously being careful in case a alien creeper decides it wants to explode. Oh, I got awesome chest plates. I got a magnetize, magnetization, fire protection. I don't know if I can mine. Can I mine obsidian with a diamond tipped pickaxe? Let's find out here. So meteor or magneti magnetized, yes I can is a very interesting uh, enchantment. It brings the items that drop near you when you have a full inventory and they just circle around you like eeps do when it's lagging out. I don't know if anyone has ever oh gosh, encountered that problem before and it is getting nighttime. I'm thinking maybe I should put on one of my armors. So let's put on let's put a meteorite armor on for right now. Oh yeah, we're cool. Already we've got three and a half armor. Already we're that much stronger. And, yep. Automatically drags items to me. I'll continue to get as much of this meteorite stuff as possible. There are a few things we can do with meteorite. Uh, weapons, tools. Okay, I think that's it for now. Yeah, I'm not scared of you now, zombie. I hear hissing, though, and I'm in trouble. Oh, yeah. And also, I had forgotten, in our process of looking for a mine, that over here, I think, I have a zombie on top of my house. If I'm not mistaken, it's over here somewhere. Oh, another meteorite dropped. It's getting to be a regular thing now. Yeah, right here. Look at this. Totally forgot that there was a mine here. Just put some torches down here. And I'm going to put some torches down to my house so I know where I'm going. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do after collecting some more of these chocobo feathers. Besides, I don't know if this grass is respawning. Ah! Mm. Oh. Ah! Oh. 
Wow, holy blast off. Okay, it's time to rest. I can't because there's mobs nearby. Oh, because there's a mob on my ceiling. Thank you. So, there's a few things I wanted to go and uh, test out. I do want to get into that smelting thing, which I think I'm going to make a room down there for. And there's also a whole bunch of backpacks, obviously, and she... I can spells. And shields, some of which I can't make. I think I only can find. But I know, for instance, like the iron shield, which is explosive resistant, I really want. And I need five, six iron and a piece of leather. And I, th I know I have zombie meat, but I don't know if I have actual leather. Nope. So I'm going to cook up some zombie meat. Give me some leather. Grab me some iron. Because I want to see what... I need six. Because I want to see what, how a shield works. If it, I don't know if it's, you know, you have to have it equipped or what. There's spiders and... Apparently there was an arrow that dropped there. I don't know. <coughs> Anyway, I gotta put my armor in my chest. Now I have a bunch of armor. A bunch of fire protection armor. That'll be if I go into the nether. Now the odd thing about this meteorite, meteor chips, is instead of using sticks like most tools do, I actually have to use pure iron. So I'd have to use um, one iron for the handle of a sword, or two iron for tools. I do need one of those. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Put the leather there. Now we have a shield. Now I don't know if this goes somewhere. Or I have to have it equipped. Oh, I can see in my Inventory, I've got a guard spot. So if I go shield, let's throw all this back in here. I gotta go fix that. Hole in the ground that got made. Creeper, creeper, creepers. That creeper fucking knocked me sky high, didn't he? I don't have enough dirt here. <clears throat> so we have an unlimited source of chocobo feathers, which I really don't know what other uses they have, besides, I think I needed one to make a saddlebag. Put that over there. You know what I'm gonna? I don't know what I did with it. Um, this goes in dust. Sand goes in there. I need more dirt. Let's pull out that dirt. What else do I have in here? Leather. Mob drop. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that mine area this episode. What was I doing? Hmm. Oh, I was fixing this hole. And fixing it terribly, apparently. Okay, so for this episode, I think I'm going to go over here. I don't need a chocobo because it's not that far of a journey. I don't know why, what is up with this. Okay, i got to make sure I can... Get down here. Okay, yeah. Easily. Grab some more of this aluminum that I don't know exactly what it does. I do see you, zombie. I do see you. Bam! Bam! That's right. That's right. 
You don't scare me. We got iron ore bush. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I wonder if this iron stuff actually grows. I got iron berries. Yep, iron ore berries. Which, if they're anything like uh, the aluminum one I found, I can cook them to get nuggets, which will then... <laughs> it's actually got sandstone stalactites. That's kind of interesting, actually. So, once again, I hear door. Man, this this cave this cave might actually be something. I don't I went to all that effort to make sure I found something. We found a cave and looks like a good one was just right in my back door. Or actually front yard really. Do 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 do. So after all this, I think what I'm gonna do after I've collected a good amount of resources. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Look at that, I think it's like a s smelting thing? Not sure. Oh yeah, look at this. Another zombie. I had two zombies come from this direction. I don't know why. Oh, spider. Ah! Oh, yeah, look at this area. Copper ore bush. Oh, man. I, we found a mother load here. Go, Enderman. That Enderman's gonna just pop out of nowhere and scare the crap out of me. Oh well. It is what it is. This is cool to be able to just mine at a distance and all the stuff comes to me. So, sorry that mining isn't really much of a entertaining video, but it must be done. And now that we actually found a place that'll give us resources. Zombies banging on this door. Oh, there's... getting awfully annoying. However, I think this is the end of this dead end area over here. Well, maybe not. Now, I should be going through this, because sometimes you can find ores and gravel. But I think I'll only worry about that when I come up to it. Oh, there's ores I missed. Oh, because I was more worried about the Enderman. That's right. galore, or coal galore. This is just what we needed. Okay. So, back to exploring. I got to make sure that I light this up, because I don't need mob spawning down there. Okay. What do we have down here?
Copper. Still don't know what copper does yet. Some coal. But I still haven't gotten any flint. Oh, the game, you make a liar out of me. I need a step. I do hear that Enderman again. And these zombies are getting awfully annoying. I am not knowing where they are is doubly so. There's that Enderman, and oh, well, we have a ravine. Oh, look at this. There's a little chunk of meteorite in that ravine. Spider waiting for me. There's a bat up there. Oh, yeah. We have resources. So we're not going to have to go far to start off on our resource needs. Uh, I hope the audio is getting better. Um, I put a filter on my microphone and turned up the volume of my microphone. So hopefully that will uh, increase how you how much you guys can hear me. Uh, I did notice that the last couple episodes have been kind of quiet, uh, not including the lack of commentary that I tend to get into in bits like this. Yes, you're very threatening with your sword, your own. So oddly enough, this... Ooh, I see something over there. Yeah, that's cobblestone. I think I found my way into like a... Gosh darn! Zombies! Ah! There we go. Let's see if I can... Oh, I, I can find a way down there. Oh, Skelly! Ow! Man, he was fast firing. I am sorry for all these zombie sounds. That was intelligent, you're really intelligent. I'm gonna try and actually stop him here in a second, as soon as it'll let me in here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Okay, so maybe that wasn't my brightest idea. I do now have to go down there and uh, get my stuff. So get me an armor back. I'm going to need my pick that I've totally forgotten about. And I need a sword. So I need a piece of iron. And some stone. Because I'm going to make some stone rods, which I had in here. Oh, no, I guess not. I don't need the binding, though. So, I need a iron sword blade. I need a stone handguard 
which then goes into a longsword. Okay, so got myself a longsword. If anything, I need to go and just get my stuff back, even if I don't make it back to anything fancy. So I did find a dungeon, and I did see that there was a big mob there. Mob, 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 mob there. Turn left. Right. Yep, here it is. And you see they are coming up now. I need quartz. Oh, you had some of my stuff. Prickheads. safe in here. Did I get any of my torches? Oh, I did get my torches back. Cool. So I had some ghosts over here, apparently. King skeleton. Can okay, we switch my armor out for now? So all my stuff will fly around me. Break that spawner. Where's my other sword? Just in case. I have problems. Just wanna, yeah, just aggro one. That's right, come on. Come on, you little prickhead. Ah. Oh, I'm starving. I'm like, what is, what is hurting me? Should have made more food is what I should have done. And then Spectre. Not doing very well against the undead here. An aluminum ore bush. Free bed. A lot of beds here. what that is. So, I've got... Drop some of this stuff off, I think. I don't need the sandstone. The shield I need. I don't need my gravestone. This. What else can I throw in here? Stone rod. Unnamed. It's just some random thing. Okay. Back to. Find ourselves a nice little dungeon here. There's a 
creeper right there. I do see you. Oh damn, I echoed the ghost. Oh, I think he can go the door. Back off. Back off. Oh shit. Yeah, I need a better, uh, better sword. I'm getting a bunch of just random stuff here. Like, I think that was poison essence. Yeah. I mean, I can get elemental weapons now. Let's see if I can. Is there any more in here? So they're trying to break these things down. Furnaces, and I think that there's nothing in these furnaces. There's some coal in that furnace. In that one. What's this? Oh, there's cake! Okay, so I can survive a little longer down here. Is that broadsword? Oh, it's just luck. I need to put auto repair on it. Charmers. That sword's broken now. Generates. There's no way. There's no way. Okay. Well, I'm full up on stuff. I think it's about time I headed home. What in here do I want? I want essence for sure. I don't need the arrows. Dirt I don't need. So let's grab the license. That Eeps is not picking up. Not so. Let's head out of here. Oh man. And that's perfect timing. So, uh, found ourselves a dungeon. We've also found ourselves plenty of area that we can explore. It is all underneath me. Where am I supposed to be going? Here. Did I make a wrong turn? I don't care if you get Made a wrong turn. Well, no. Okay. And then we go back up this way. Come on. And then this should lead us straight up. Awesome. Only died once. Which is a plus. Oh, well... Next time, guys, we are going to uh, investigate what... I, did I grab my tombstone? No, I didn't. We are going to investigate the uh, smelting, because now we have an area where we can smelt. Hopefully, maybe next time I'll also find a way to get better armor. But first and foremost... Do I have signs? No, I don't have signs. Do I have sticks? I don't have sticks. I'm going to throw some of this stuff in here. I need to do this real quick. Actually, you know what? Let's maybe put another one. Because I need to go... Blop. Let's throw the bone on the floor for right now. Okay, so we do need to make a... Crafting table down here. We also need to make an oven. But, like I said, I think... That smelting thing is going to help. Put a sign right here. First. Dungeon. 
And then, where'd it go? Zombie head. BAM! We have a trophy. So our trophy wall is getting there. Uh, I did put the skeleton skull for the, gla the glacier cave. So yeah, next time, um, I'm going to go through and organize my inventory off screen while this is all rendering out. And I'm going to... And then, uh, we're going to go see about... What are they called? I put it in here, didn't I? Yeah, right there. Uh, smelteries. See what we need for smeltery. Obviously, we're going to need lava, so we might have to go make a trip out to that, uh... Volcano. So thank you guys so very much for sticking with me. I had a lot of fun just then. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Hopefully the sound of this one will be a little better. Uh, once again, thank you so much. Happy gaming, guys.